Lights, camera, action. It's Michelle Ramon. Um, this this discussion is going to be mostly about um, not worrying about wearing makeup to impress people because, you know, eventually you're going to have to wake up like that, you know. <laughs> You, you should get people used to seeing you the way you are, like, without makeup. Like, me, personally, my friends are like, you look better without makeup. And it's like, sometimes I do. You know, like, as long as your hair is done or you have a nice tan, you sometimes don't even need makeup. Like, you could get your hair done and get a tan and just, you know, go natural. And you're going to feel better about yourself because you might get more compliments just looking natural. You don't have to worry about wearing makeup. I love makeup just because it does enhance my beauty. I already know I'm beautiful. Like the other day, I don't know if somebody was, it was a typo or what, that this guy on my Facebook said something about, um, I don't know what he was saying. And he said something, you know, I thought he was like ragging on me. And I thought it was one of my haters, like with a picture there of somebody else trying to like rag on me. So I got put in Facebook jail because <laughs> I don't like when people just do that, like they're hating on you and you can't say nothing in response because there's all these people that have already saw that post. Like if someone says something bad about you and you haven't even seen the post, then when you go on the post, you're like, what the F? Like, are you serious? And all my friends are reading it and my fans are reading it and the people I like or the people I don't like and they're sitting there laughing because I haven't even commented on it yet and I haven't even seen it and I'm just like oh really so that's when it pisses me off and I start talking crap like well hey who the f are you on my page like blah 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 you know so you know like it could be a secret hater yeah or it could have been just a typo where he didn't mean to say that it sounded like he said something about uh he said something about ugly women for his taste or something. Like, I don't know if he was just saying it was an ugly picture of me. Because I was like, well, so, sometimes, you know, we don't take good pictures. You might take a bad picture one day. It doesn't mean you're ugly. So I just, you know, it's it was just weird. I don't know what he was saying. And he might have just been a typo. And then when I got back to it, I thought it was one of my haters. Like, putting um, one of those pictures up just... Because somebody did that to me before, and I think it was one of my haters. Like, they'll do that to you. They'll disguise themselves as someone else but go on your page because they've secretly been jealous of you, and they'll they'll say stuff like, oh, well, you're weird, or you're this, or you're that, and you're just like... So you, you got to be careful with your secret haters because whether you have makeup on or you don't have makeup on, you're still going to have secret haters. You know, you... Somebody could have been jealous of you like 50 years ago and they pop up all of a sudden and they're still jealous of you. So once someone is jealous or envious of you, it's not going to change. It could be years and years. Just like um, my, my mother-in-law, Sally, told me, and we were very close. She said, you know, my sister finally came out and told me that I've always been jealous of you. She told, she told Sally that. And I was like, yeah, that is kind of weird because you don't know if your own family members are hating on you for some reason. Or if you got more attention than they did and and they just hate you, you know, or whatever it is about you, it's like they just hate you, you know, they just secretly hate you. So, yeah, or they just don't get enough attention. Like me, I don't, I pretty much don't need any attention because I know that I, I used to just do my own thing. I used to read a lot. I used to um, go to church events. I was hardly even home, and then my family was starting to wonder about me, like, why aren't you ever here for us to argue with? And I'm like, because uh, I don't like arguing. I'd rather be at church. <laughs> They're like, you're never here anymore for you know for, to be the human bungee bag. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, and uh, my mom would not like to argue a lot, and I just like, uh, I think I'll opt out of that um, to not argue. So, yeah, I, you know, I'd rather not argue. You know, there's people that love arguing and they get off on it. And me, I'm just a conversationalist and I like talking or I like um, communicating more 
is my thing you know that's why I want to get the degree in that because it's more my thing like getting information out there it's not that I want to talk a lot or if I'm just sometimes I do I ramble my friends are like okay Michelle you're rambling or whatever like you know if I have so many problems it's just like oh my god this happened that happened and then I become rambling I'm just like I just can't stop rambling because it's like oh, I'm just like stressed out like I don't know how to vent or if I can't even go to the gym, you know, like so I've had days like today was a day I couldn't even go to the gym. I couldn't find my card key and we've been having issues with where we're at, you know, living, you know, so I'm going to be moving again. And, you know, it's just it's just that part, you know, I'm, I don't even know. It's like I got to pack a bag, pack some suitcases up I don't want to lose all my clothes but then again some of my clothes got ruined in the wash like one of my brand new dresses I didn't know um, Mario said when he did the laundry some of his stuff was bleached and my brand new dress had bleach on it and I'm just like when oh shoot I just bought this now I'm gonna have to tie dye my dress so it doesn't get ruined and princess is depressed because dogs always know stuff before we do and she's kind of depressed because she was really happy here and then you know she's been going through it she, you know just they pick up on your emotions and if you're in a rut then they're in a rut or if you're you know and they she she would like to go for a long walk today so I might take her this she doesn't I don't think she likes the hot weather because she can't go out as much it's too hot you know and I would rather have her in a yard running around you know that would be ideal for her to have a good time you know and to come in when she wants and to go outside when she wants and you know have like a park close by but in in a different type of weather like I've always hated this weather you know it's always been like really too hot for me and I've I've always had a car so it's, it's never really dawned on me that there's people that don't have cars so God's like telling me well you know you've always been spoiled you've always had a car and you don't really you don't really see other people's struggles as much as when you're in their shoes when you don't have a car and you're walking around or you're taking the bus and so God's trying to show me he's like well why don't you do this for a second and kind of like then you can kind of relate to other people and it's like yeah because I just assumed everybody that goes to church and that serves God is blessed, you know, and there it's not the case. I mean, you are blessed, but you're being called by God. So you're going to be, you're going to be mingling where maybe you don't want to mingle. You're going to be put, you know, on the bus sometimes, or you're going to be walking sometimes because he wants you to have good health. So if your health is kind of slipping, you're going to be walking and walking and walking. And I've already been there and done that. I've been walking and walking and walking. So, sorry. <laughs> Some of my fan clubs. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan. And then I got fans after me. Like, I got people that check for me every day. So, it's not just me checking for other people every day. They're checking for me every day, too. So, it's like, yeah, I got some fans out there. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Like, we all have, you know, friends that hit us up. But I have friends that literally hit me up every day. You know, and that is positive. You know, it's it's encouraging that somebody thinks you're that special to hit you up every day. And, you know, some people will get annoyed um, if they don't know you personally. And they're scared of, you know, like, or, you know, they don't know who you are. And it's like, you know... But the people that do know me, they they just automatically love me. And I've never had any real issues with people not liking me. They might, you know, like if I'm going through something, I might be annoying because I'm texting them too much or I need someone to talk to. But it's not like, it's not like an issue, you know, ho you know hopefully not. But I mean, it's just because they don't know you. It's like, if they did know you, you know, then it would be cool. But people don't want to get to know people anymore. And, I, and I'm just kind of, like, done trying to get to know people, too. Because, like, if someone wants me to get to know them, then they'll express that. Or if they just, they want to stay in their lane, then they can stay in their lane, you know. 
I just, I've already, you know, if I've already developed a friendship with someone and then they're acting brand new, it's just like, wow, you're acting brand new now? Like, all of a sudden? Like, when we have a rapport, we're communicating well, everything's fine, you know, and then all of a sudden they're brand new. <laughs> it's like, I, like, I never knew you. Like, I don't know who you are. Like, okay, well, I could be brand new too. Like, I got a new attitude. I got a new attitude. Got my hair done, my nails fixed, toes done, looking glitzed. I got a new attitude. Bossy bitch, coming legit. I'm not playing with these other fussing witches because <laughs> they ain't the shit. <laughs> I got a new attitude. I got a new attitude. Rapping like I ain't no boss bitch, but they know I am. Rapping because I can. I'm the freaking boss, bossiest bitch ever seen. Go get that spam. Look at that spam. We're going to cook it up. <laughs> I'm feeling saucy. I'm feeling bossy. I got all these haters trying to hate. That makes me feel glossy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. No, uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not good at freestyling right now. It's like, no. I've had a rough week, and I don't know where I'm going to end up. I might go to Texas. I might go to Cali, but I don't know about Vegas. I just, I've been having it out with Vegas. And now I can't get a hold of my daughter, Diamon, because I don't know what happened on one of my Instagram pages. It just flopped out on me and uh, stopped working. And my friend Lori told me that... Um, Somebody probably hacked me. So I was like, oh, great. Now, now my Instagram, I've been jumping from Instagram to Instagram. You know, so um, it sucks. But, you know, it is. Um, I mean, I know my husband's a hacker, but that's so he says. No, he's good at computers. He probably did. He could have hacked me. I don't know. I don't know what is going on or why. But it's okay. I found my crown. I thought somebody stole it. I was like, my crown is gone. My pretty, beautiful butterfly crown is gone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, shout out to all my relatives that I haven't seen in a while. My in-laws, my family, family of families. Uh, I got I got nieces and nephews in Florida. Shout out to them. I hope they're doing well. And prayer, prayers go out to them. Uh, Lord, watch over my nieces and my nephews all over the place, um, some are in Florida, and uh, I just pray that you would help them in um, every way, and all the family members that I really don't even talk to, really, there's a couple of them, um, I just, I'm just not that close to that side of the family, you know, they're just busy, and um, I love my Uncle Lenny, and I miss my Uncle Ponch, who passed away, and that's why I say y'all, you know, because he used to always say y'all, y'all this and y'all that because we're you know they're from texas and um i really miss him terribly so uh yeah but i'm just gonna keep it short because i want you guys to have a blessed day and i don't want to just ramble ramble but princess is kind of depressed right now because we have to move again so she doesn't really know where she's going and she's just like again she's been to hell and back so just pray for us princess she's like she's in a depression she's been going through a depression so she doesn't really know what's going on because she she sees kids that she's attached to she sees some of my f friends and family and then they're not here and then she gets goes into a rut and one of her daddies uh, Matthew came to see her and she really misses him a lot she she almost she barked at him like really bad when she saw him. She was just pissed off at him. And she went off on him because she has abandonment issues because her original daddy just pawned her off on me. And she also, you know, had a, a life with them, you know, so she, she has abandonment issues. And then she also feels sad for other her other family. You know, she feels sad. She misses little Vanessa. You know, and Vanessa knows that she could come visit her any time. It's just we had a falling out, and um, there was been too many fall. There, there wasn't a lot of falling outs with me and Vanessa and her dad, but 
this last one, it just, I don't know if we're going to, you know, patch it up because it was just, I wasn't ready for that situation. I was just trying to get on my feet and he, he pawned his daughter off on me with her rude boyfriend and he was like an a-hole and tried to punch a hole in one of my doors and I, I think it was just a setup to make me go downhill again or to lose my spot again so that's why I can't I can't be friends with people who are like secretly hating and jealous of new friends that I meet or you know situations that I'm in that I if I get myself out of it then they're like oh she got herself out of it so now I'm gonna put her back in it you know because they're salty about something you know so it's like well stay salty I don't care you know that ain't gonna change who I'm chasing after that ain't gonna change me coming back to you because we were never really all that anyway it, it ain't gonna change nothing you could stay salty they don't, you know, they don't have my number. I got, new, I changed my number all the time. I would love to visit with them again and all that. And, but, and, you know, maybe I will call, you know, maybe I'll call the blue, but it's like, we're really good friends. I mean, I'm, I was really good friends with my friends that owned this dog for like 20 years, but it just somehow, sometimes it falls apart. So you just have to like accept the fact that they're, you know, that there's something that, you know, I don't know, like, just like my mother-in-law used to say, um, she used to tell me, like, some guys, they, like, they don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to have you, so they want to keep you, like, on a shelf, and they, they just want to be able to pick you up anytime they want, and it's like, or they just don't want nobody else to have you because they want you to be alone or be suffering, it's like, you know, so it's like, but my sign is not really the type to be alone it says that when I read up on my sign even though I don't believe in that all the time it's just entertainment for me but when I read up on my sign it says that Leos are not really alone a lot because we're just we're so we're so outgoing and we're social butterflies so it's not like we're gonna be alone all the time like I got I got friends I could kick it with any day of the week you know and I'm just like okay but I just choose to I choose to ride solo dolo you know and if I get my new car I would love to go see some of my high school sweetheart. Well, just one of them. I only have one high school sweetheart in Cali. I had one that lives in Washington. That was my first boyfriend from high school that I was with for four years. But I low-key didn't even have a lot of relationships. I never dated when I was in high school. I only dated, like, it was just, like, random. Like, only a couple times I dated, and they were probably not good dates. <laughs> Except for that one date where... <laughs> Oh, I gotta go out there. I gotta go catch up on my um my little my little high school sweetheart. No, I'm just kidding. It's like Well hey. Men cheat. I was with my high school sweetheart, my first high school sweetheart for a long time. And I found out come to find out he was the big cheater of the relationship. It wasn't me. I was I was low key just going to school. I wasn't doing anything. And it wasn't the best relationship. Yeah, put it that way. <laughs> it just wasn't. <laughs> Maybe for him, but not for me. It was never. <laughs> it just wasn't. It just was just like, I don't know. When I, I, I don't know. It just was. It was just regular. It wasn't anything. I mean, I remember all the good times we've had. Like I went to the graduation and stuff. I went to his uh, Marine Corps graduate. I went to a Marine Corps ball. I went to the Marine Corps graduation. I was all dressed up. You know, those are good, those are good memories, you know, just, you know, <laughs> just going to gala events, you know, whatever they call them. Okay, well, I hope I made you guys laugh, because that's what I'm here to do, is to be your little, you know, ray of sunshine, and I hope I can always make you guys laugh, that's, that's why I do these videos. It's not really for myself, because I know I have, like, such a good personality that I, I like to share my humor and... I want to share insights or events or things or something that might, you know, that might make you laugh or might make you think about, hey, yeah, she's right. I don't have to wear makeup all the time to be beautiful, you know, and you really don't because it's just, you know, your inner beauty is going to shine no matter what, you know, so um, I just thought I would drop by and say um, a little bit about 
some experiences that we've all had. Like, we've had similar experiences on Facebook. Like, I'm in Facebook jail right now, so. So send me a kite, you guys. Or, no, send me a little, send me some commissary. <laughs> I'm actually needing commissary right now. So I can't even go out this house. And then I went out, I opened the door, and it was raining in one little area. I was like, is it only raining in that one little area? Like, dang. That's so weird. And because of the heat and, you know, um, just not having enough money and having a broken down car that I didn't even get. I mean, the car broke down and I didn't get to use it for very long. So uh, I'm just kind of like not really going very many places. So uh, prayers up to Michelle Ramon. I just... I, I just hope that um, my channel really makes you happy sometimes because to know that you're not the only one going through things because, like, misery does love company. <laughs> Come on over. Grab a seat. <laughs> me, and my, me and my other friends, we just sit, we just sit around being miserable together. <laughs> hey, I do love company when I'm, in, when, you know, when I'm having a miserable day. It's like, can, can you come over? <laughs> All right. Well, you have a nice time. Thank you for joining and she's just out for the count. Look at her. She's like dead to the world. She's like, I'm just going to sleep my problems away. I'm not going to. I don't even want to go through this again of, you know, hitting the pavement. But, you know, it is what it is. So I just want to say hi and have a blessed day. And uh, don't be don't be discouraged. Be encouraged because it does get better. And you never know. Things could get better.